Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a training subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we are back with another vlog. I am so excited. Today we are going to be going and seeing Chris Brown on his Under the Influence tour. If you are a regular degular, then you may know that I actually saw Chris Brown just a few months ago at Wireless Festival. So I will have that vlog linked down below if you want to check it out. And I also have another concert vlog. I saw a band called The Script last Last year so I'll have that link down for you if you just enjoy concert vlogs. Before we get into it please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more post uni lifestyle videos and vlogs and if you'd like to go the extra mile to support my channel you can go ahead and send me a super thanks in the menu bar down below. It helps my channel out so much and I'd really appreciate it and without further ado let's get into it. So I'm just gonna get started with my makeup. I've actually been up for a while. I've been up since like 9 30. I actually ended up editing for a few hours. I was editing my my vlog that is gonna go up before this vlog so I'll link it down below for you guys but I actually mentioned in the vlog that I am going to see Chris Brown if you didn't know it's because you didn't watch that vlog so definitely go and check it out so it's quarter past three right now and we are leaving at five o'clock for the concert it's at the O2 in London as I said before I saw Chris Brown at wireless festival literally one of like the best days of my life not to be dramatic or anything but it had been such a long time coming I remember Chris Brown coming to South Africa. I think it was like 2015. I was like 14 or 15 years old wanting to go to this concert and my dad said no, which like fair enough. I was like 14 or 15. Like I don't need to be at a Chris Brown concert. But I just remember being like so heartbroken. So it's just so funny to me that like eight years later or seven years later for talking about Wireless Festival, I was actually able to go and see him. Like that was so exciting for me. And during his performance, he actually said, I'm definitely going to come back and do do a tour in the UK. And everybody in the crowd like freaked out. So I find it so wild. He really stuck by his word. Like he said, I'm gonna come and do a concert for you guys. And literally like six months later, he came through with a whole UK tour. I think he's doing like six shows in London and all of them are sold out at the O2. It's insane. Getting tickets for the show was mental. I've never had such a hard time getting tickets before. I haven't been to a ton of concerts. I've been to like four. I went to see Justin Bieber twice in South Africa, One Direction as well in South Africa and then I saw the script last year I think it was oh that is not straight I saw the script back in May last year getting Justin Bieber tickets was like so easy I was able to get Golden Circle both times I don't even understand like was it just easier to get concert tickets in South Africa like I don't get it it was absolute madness he ended up like adding extra shows and stuff and they would literally sell out in less than five minutes I don't even understand I'd get into the queue and there would be like 30,000 people in the queue or like 50,000 I think the first time honestly at some point I had resigned myself to not going and I just said to myself you know what it's fine like I went to wireless let me not be so greedy so the fact that we even got these tickets I'm just so hyped guys comment down for me below what's your favorite concert you've been to and if you haven't been to a concert who would you love to go and see live honestly before I saw Chris Brown I would have told you my favorite performer or whatever is Justin Bieber because I won't lie he puts on a very good show he's like really there with the dancing but I mean breezy you can't really compete at that point. I've seen his set list. This is what I do for concerts, you guys, especially because Chris Brown has so many songs. His discography is actually insane. There's no way I would know every single one of his songs. So what I typically do is I just like Google the set list. I did search his set list for his Dublin show. So we do have an idea of what is popping up. But yeah, I sat and made a whole playlist. It's like 50 songs. It's a lot. But you know what? On that note, I'm going to focus on the rest of my makeup if you watched my chit chat get ready with me life update Q&A situation you know that me multitasking my makeup doesn't always turn out the greatest so I'm gonna like really try and focus on this and I'll be jamming out to my playlist let me actually show you the playlist while I'm here okay so here's what I created breezy at the O2 you already know I got this picture on Google this is from wireless festival not me taking this playlist way too seriously here we have his set list also fingers crossed I've been getting a lot so far I did vlog the script didn't get copywritten knock on wood we did the wireless thing Chris Brown did not copyright us then so breezy please don't copyright us today okay cuz I'm really excited I'm gonna have to get real creative with the editing on this you have no idea but anyway let me finish up my makeup and I'll catch up with you guys later I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. 
You guys, my mom came into my room freaking out because she could not find our tickets and I was just like, sis, are you really gonna check your tickets like literally half an hour before we're supposed to leave? Like she's so unserious. We found the tickets, everything seems to be okay, but I'm just gonna come through with a little outfit check. Honestly, I'm not doing anything too special with my outfit today. Not that I really do anything special with my outfits ever. So I have this cute long sleeve top from Shein. I'm actually obsessed with it. I got it recently and it's got like a little open back. It's not really that much of an open back, but I think it's really cute. I actually wore it in one of my recent vlogs and it's like one of my only long sleeve tops and I feel like that's kind of good vibes because I don't know how late we're gonna be leaving London, so probably best to be as warm as possible. Okay, here's where I'm stuck. So if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Fashion Nova jeans, like my favorite jeans are from Fashion Nova. So I have two pairs. They're basically the exact same, only difference is one has rips and one doesn't have rips. And also I think this is a lot more washed out because I actually have worn this a couple of times but if i'm trying to go for warmth then ripped jeans is probably not the move but also i think it will make my outfit a little bit more interesting so i'll catch you guys when i decide because we need to leave soon okay so i decided to go with no ripped jeans we're gonna play it safe today and we are gonna roll out this is when we switch from the camera to my iphone so enjoy some iphone footage peace saw you for a second and i'm happy that you came my way don't want to waste no time without you ever burning up my days never meant to fall so
Hey guys, so I'm finally back home. Oh my gosh, leaving the O2 was a madness. I could not even vlog because we were literally running to catch the train. It was a lot, but we're actually back pretty early. Where's my phone? It is only quarter to one, which I feel like is actually pretty good. As far as the show goes, one thing about Chris Brown is he is a performer. Like he had so much energy. I won't lie to you. Like I was so tired at some point because this has been the longest day ever, but he had energy. He was doing all of the things and like he was full throttle like performing and singing and everything. He was like singing live a lot of the time. It was like really impressive. He did take a little intermission in the middle. It was quite random. Suddenly you just hear Kevin Hart coming on and I was like, uh, Kevin, what are you doing here? And basically it's Kevin Hart saying like there's an intermission, break, and then, you know, come back, which was interesting because I've been, as I told you guys, to a few concerts, but I don't recall there being like literal intermissions in between the concert where like you have a full like 15 minute break and you go and do other stuff like I know sometimes they try and distract you with the dancers or like they'll play like a clip on the stage and stuff but this was like a full-blown intermission so that was interesting but I will give it to him he was doing a lot of dancing a lot of performing I would need a break too a lot of his set was similar to wireless one thing that was different from wireless is this time he spoke a lot less you know during a concert when musicians stop like between songs and they kind of like talk to the audience and kind of like I don't know say random stuff I won't lie at wireless he was saying a lot of like random stuff in between songs it was actually really fun there was so much stuff that he was just talking about just in general about like being in the UK and his son coming to see him perform and all the stuff but this time he hardly like spoke to the audience it was more like London and we'd be like yeah and he'd be like let's get it and then he would just do another song which I mean fair enough he's done like I think this is his fifth or sixth London show so he's probably sick of us he probably doesn't want to really like talk to us like that <laughs> He was like, I'm gonna focus on my performance and he did that thoroughly. I can't even be mad. It was really good. It was really entertaining. Obviously not the best seats, but to be fair, it was like so hard to get tickets that I'm just glad I even got tickets because I would have been sitting at home watching Love Island. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm gonna have a fun time editing this, trying to splice things so that Chris doesn't come for me and my coin. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C-Squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!